Hey guys, Chris here, lead trainer at Film Editing Pro. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, our Blackmagic certified trainer, Leon, is gonna teach you three different ways to color grade your footage faster. Thanks, Chris. This is gonna be a nice short and sweet lesson. We're gonna go over some techniques that you can use to copy color grades from one clip to another. Quick note, for a steady stream of new tutorials from professional Hollywood editors, be sure to subscribe to the Film Editing Pro channel and turn on notifications. Take it away, Leon. There are several shots in my timeline that I've not done any color grading to yet. We've got this shot here of Brian in the studio, the close-up of his hands on the laptop, and then another close-up of his hands, but this time in the studio. There's a good reason why we've not graded these shots yet. Because, for example, this shot here is so similar to this shot, well, it's going to have all of the same problems and it's going to need all of the same color corrections. But the same with this close-up of his hands on the laptop, it's going to need the same color corrections that this wide has because it's such a similar shot. And similarly as well, the close-up of his hands in the studio. I reckon I could get away with the same grade that I've already put on this shot. If I was to grade all of those shots separately, it's going to be a waste of my time. Instead, what I want to do is I want to copy the grade from, for example, this clip onto this clip, and then from this clip onto that clip. <laughs> you get the idea. If I right click in the program viewer and go to grab still. Uh, now pay attention, in this color grade, I made the pink go orange just to make it fit better with the Film Editing Pro color scheme. If I open up the gallery, you'll see the new still that I created. Right, now let's go to our next shot. What's really cool is that when I hover over a still in my gallery viewer, it gives me a preview of what that grade is gonna look like when it gets applied to my clip. Notice if I move my mouse away from the still, those colors in the background go back to being pink. If I hover over the still, they're now orange. That's really cool. That's just a temporary preview of what this still is gonna look like or this grade is gonna look like when it's applied to my selected clip. Uh, to apply it, I can right click and go down to apply grade. And now you'll see that grade has been properly, permanently applied to this clip in the timeline. And you can see those secondary corrections that I made are showing up in that third node. I'm just gonna close my gallery to get back more of my real estate on the screen. Now this usually happens a lot. Uh, this grade that I've applied from the previous clip, it mostly looks good, but I am seeing some issues with how colors are being handled on these upright beams here in the back of the studio. Also, I can see something funky going on with the colors on his hand. I'm gonna need to adjust this grade to better suit this clip. I'll go into my hue versus hue controls. Uh, maybe let's play around with these control points here to see if I can fix this problem. So that's pretty cool. We can use the color grade from another clip as our starting point but I can still modify that grade further. Just so you know, the changes I've made to the color grade on this clip, they don't propagate back to that still and they don't propagate back to the first clip that I colored the grade from. It's a one-way process copying the grade off of a clip. These two aren't linked together now. Now in this timeline, I've got three clips that I wanna copy the grade from another clip on. It would be really long-winded if I had to create a still every single time I did that. Well, good news, there's actually a variety of ways that you can copy grades from one clip to another. Using stills is just one of them. I'd like to show you another much easier way of doing it. Step one, select the clip that you are wanting to apply the copied grade to. In this instance, it's the close-up of Brian's hands on the laptop. Step two, find the clip that you want to copy the grade from in the timeline. In this instance, it's this wide shot of Brian at the coffee table. Now don't click on it just yet. Here's what you need to do. You want to click on it with your center mouse button. That's the wheel. Hover over that clip in your timeline and just push down firmly with the wheel on your mouse. And just like that, Resolve has copied the color grade from this clip onto this one. Much easier than going through the process of creating stills. Stills are useful if you're gonna be copying that grade to a large number of clips. Almost as if you wanna save that grade as a favorite so you can reapply it throughout your timeline to various clips. All right, I've got one last example that I wanna show you of how to copy a grade from one clip to another. Let's do it for this close-up of Brian's hand in the studio. 
This time we're going to do it using a keyboard hotkey. In Resolve, there are hotkeys for copying the color grade from the previous clip in your timeline and for copying the grade from the clip before the previous clip in your timeline. Those are the minus and the plus keys, but more specifically, the ones at the top of your keyboard that come after zero and before backspace. Remember, those keys ordinarily when you click on them, they give you a dash or an equals sign. To get the minus and the plus, you need to hold down on shift. So if I hold down on shift and hit that minus key, Resolve is gonna copy the color grade from this shot here. Let me demonstrate that. I can see that it's copied the grade because uh, now I've got stuff showing up in my secondaries correction node. Now it's not changed my image. That's because the only change that I made in this image was to darken his red t-shirt. So those colors aren't showing up in this image. So it's no surprise that that color grade isn't having any effect. Instead of copying this grade, I want to copy this grade, the clip prior. So instead of shift minus, I'm going to click shift plus. It didn't matter that I already had color corrections on this clip because when I copied the grade from the previous clip, this one, it just overwrote everything that I'd had in there previously. And that's actually a really good point for you to remember that when you apply a copied grade to a clip in your timeline, it will overwrite any of the grade that you've already got in there. Well, as you can see in your edits, you often have lots of shots that have similar color grading needs. They might be the same setup. They might be from the same scene. Whatever the case, these cool little tools that allow you to copy a color grade from one clip to another can really speed up your workflow. Hey there, for tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.